there. Shakar. I am a medium and I'm an empath and an energy healer, an animal communicator. And I'm coming to you today live at 444 or thereabouts. It's almost 444, but it's not exactly. And I'm uh, here to give a spirit message. I'm going to be giving these messages as I'm led at the power uh, times of day, which are 1111, 222, 333, 444, and even 555. I um, do 444. And to come and talk to everyone about guilt. Guilt is, in a lot of ways, kind of a useless emotion, but we can benefit from it. There is obviously a reason why we feel emotions that we feel, and we can use anything toward our spiritual growth. Now, the important thing is that any of the emotions that we have, we have to allow them to move. We have to allow them to express themselves. Let our, even if from a particular uh, higher expanded perspective, those emotions are non-functional. Everything is in the end functional. Everything is working from our soul to bring us closer to our true self. You can see I'm here in the area that's by my house. It's kind of like a park. It's a tiny bit of nature in the middle of a, a, a city. Beautiful tree behind me. You can find nature, you can find Gaia just about everywhere. Well, everywhere because that's what we're doing. And so guilt. The way that we, the, the way to look at guilt is the way we look at anything really. And that is that absolutely everything we do, every choice that we make, we're really only making between two different options. And that's love or fear. All choices, and especially more profound ones, they're, they're actually mixed. So one choice is rarely one choice. One choice is, is like, is nuanced and it's like a rope and it's they're they're just all um, woven together with all of these subtle and and uh, you know many many choices well I'll give an example from my own life there was a time when I was very very young actually it was I was I was dating someone but um, because I was very very young there was a point where I had outgrown the relationship I still really cared about the person but I had outgrown it and because of my youth and because of, because of you know a lot of ways that I was broken, I handled it wrong when I ended the relationship. I always could have found the right way. I could have chosen. It's possible to choose love at the time. So I ended the relationship by sabotaging it because I didn't know how to. I mean, that there was a part of me that was just like, I didn't know how to end it. I didn't know how to cause this person pain. And I mean, I did in the end. But here's the deal. So that that choice is actually made up of a lot of choices. There are actually choices in there that were made for love. And the love the love choice that you know, it was time for me to move on from the relationship. I had to uh, become a different kind of a person that didn't include that relationship. So that was actually self-love. Now, the choice to not be honest and that a fear-based choice. I I was afraid and I was afraid of my own feelings and I was afraid of how I was changing. There was a lot of fear. And, you know, that's human. Especially, like, in this case, it's really easy for us to understand because person. But we do this when we're older as well. I, you can get, I could get myself tripped up and I actually did get tripped up on this because I felt so guilty for it for so long. And I, I, I think I apologized to this person a million times and I think they forgave me a million times. At least they said they did. How, how guilt, what guilt is meant to do is it's meant to be a, a signpost. It's meant to show you the choices that you want to make in love. And, and in love really is in alignment with yourself, that is more aligned with your own self. And so that's what guilt is there to do. It's not there for you to dwell in or to maintain so that you can punish yourself for the wrong choices. It's really meant to be just a signpost. And so when we can use guilt to say, what is guilt showing me? What is the choice that was made in fear that was contrary to my true being that I can then in the future, the next time, make in love? Guilt can also be providing a signpost to us about our beliefs, the beliefs that our being, our soul, actually wants us to release so that we could be more aligned with our true nature or that which is love. For example, when I was younger, I was in 
as religion provides for us all kinds of guidelines, all kinds of beliefs that may come from outside of oneself. And then, you know, you bring that in and you try to make those your beliefs. So those were my beliefs. And then let's take an action or I have a thought, you know, as it is in religion. And then I would feel guilty about it because whatever action or thought or choice that I made was contrary to that belief that was imposed from religion. The guilt that I was feeling the actual action or the choice, because the choice I was making, like I said, was um, much like the previous example, the choice was probably aligned with love, was something that was more my true being. So guilt was actually trying to give me a sign that it's the belief, not the actual action, not the choice, but to release the belief. So that's another way that we have these nuanced different kinds of choices, a choice to hold a belief and a choice to make an action. And if those two are not both from love, then guilt could be shown together. And then we move with the information, with the lesson and release judgment of ourselves as soon as possible. Because yes, in the state of guilt, we're not actually forward moving yet. We're kind of in a state and then we can even start to backtrack. And so then what we, but is isolate those choices, the fear-based ones and the love-based ones, and appreciate ourselves for the love-based ones, and thank ourselves and have gratitude, and have gratitude to all our helpers, assisted us in making those love-based choices. So if we, we need to at it, and we need to see all of those choices, because if we just take this overarching feeling of guilt about some situation, we're not going to get into the places where the real growth is, where we're building self-love by accepting the choices made out of love, or where signpost of the guilt to find the choices that were made out of fear so that we can depart from them and grow from them and leave the judgment behind. Okay. So thank you so much for joining me at 444. And actually, it's pretty close to sundown, to dusk. It's a highly spiritual time in the betwixt and the between times when the veil is thin. And I'll catch you next time or um, on my channels or anything like that or on Sunday at 11 a.m. Pacific when I do my show, Charmed Life. I'm Trisha Carr. Visit my website at trishacarcharm.com or like my Facebook, facebook.com slash trishacarcharm. And uh, thanks for tuning in. I love you, whoever you are.